Hi everyone, I'm back with another quicker video than the last one. Um, I don't know qu quite which order they're going to go up in, but I've, uh, I'm trying to just uh, do a couple of shorter videos. Um, this one is some more thank yous because I have had been off, been gifted some really generous um, presents over the last couple of weeks, and. Um, I'm not used to it. I'm not not sure I know quite how to uh, to thank people sometimes when they're generous. And but I just wanted to give them a shout out because it, it's really nice the friendships I've made and um, I love it. I love the the witches that I've met across the board. And some of them don't always call themselves witches, but that's you know my terminology for them. Um, I don't know if I showed it on video, but I am going to show you quickly. Um, I know I did it on Instagram, but this is I, and this is really, really special. This was gifted to me by Jezebel, Jez, um, and we swapped. I did a bag for her, and that was a wing of a bird that she that she thinks was hit by a car, and she created this magnificent design for it and that is um laborodite in the center of it and th this wing is one of my most precious um things Be because she made it and because she gifted it to me and because it's a crow's wing and it's just lovely i just adore it and there's so much talent in the community and I'm, i just feel so grateful um a lovely Christmas gift that I got from a very dear friend who has been a rock to me. Um, there's been a few of you that have, have been there and um, she and I talk normally once a week. We have virtual coffee mornings and she um, made these really lovely little knitted tarot bags and I have put my... I've already got one. She gave me a lovely lilac one, which I put shadowscapes in. But this one is holding the Tree Whisperers Oracle. And they are lovely. And I, I think she is planning to sell them. So if you want one, I know Mags has got one too. Um, I love it. It's absolutely um, divine just because she made it for me. You know, it's it's precious. It's her work um i've made a few bags this year and i've been really touched by the feedback that people have given me um it's hard because they are quite bespoke they are quite funky there's a lot of work goes into them they're all different bits of material um so they range from 20 to 35 pounds at the moment um, and that's a lot to pay for a tarot bag, but I've I've had such positive feedback from people who who really love them and they're one offs. So I am very pleased to share my support to others who create. And Karen's are oh, I just love I love them. I lo I wish I could knit like this. I, my knitting is is okay, but I think she's. You know, she's got the edge on me for that. And she puts these little hearts on the bottom. It's so beautiful. So thank you. And if you're interested in getting a bag from her, you I will try and link her thingy at the bottom. I'll have to get her to help me with that. You know me and technology. It doesn't work, does it? Um, and somebody else who's been another rock in my life is Jamie. Um, this lovely lady has followed me on instagram but we i think we must have connected on youtube first I, i'm pretty sure and she has always been really supportive and every time i've i've come off of instagram <laughs> she's like i really miss you please come back and i then feel really guilty and i come back um i'm um you know i i'm trying to limit the amount of posts i've got up anyway um, for Christmas, she completely uh, caught me un un unawares and she bought me this amazing deck. And it's called the Liminal Spirits Oracle. And of course it is by um, 
the uh, um, I need my glasses and I've stopped I'm not wearing my glasses because the the light does reflect and I think that's horrible it's Laura Tempest Zakoff who is the author of um, Weave the Liminal and this book which is what I'm reading at the moment along with 20 million other books of course anyway this deck is lovely and the <laughs> The other day I did a big faux pas because I still no no I don't have that deck on Instagram and Jamie went you do have that deck I'm like oh that deck <laughs> seriously anyway these are the backs and I am going to just try and show you a few of the images because they are really very beautiful and this is a deck that I believe is quite I don't know, I'm trying not to get a reflection here it's gone dark um I, I haven't worked with them as much as I want to, only because I it was the run up to Christmas. I was trying to make a bear, which was taking up all of my time, and get ready for Christmas. That's beautiful. And um, then I was away, and and it was just a really, it was a very very dark time for me, and. There's, there's always one motorbike that will go past making that racket when I'm videoing. And uh, so I say, so, and this went, so I didn't, and I didn't take this deck with me because I, I, I wasn't planning to go to the Swanage when I went. So I was kind of caught a little bit on the hop and I was, I, I left quite a few of my Oracle decks that I would have quite liked to have had with me. Anyway, the, the, again, I say this every time, but there will be plenty of walkthroughs of this deck. So, but I wanted to show it. It's a, it's one I want to work with. She, uh, oh, look at that! That is so pretty. Um, yeah, the so this deck hasn't been worked with properly, and I need to spend some time with it. Part of this video. I kind of want to, I've got to get the house sorted. I've, I've, I've no, I'm not working now. So I'm going to be um, working on my tarot deck, which I've mentioned. I've shown a few images on Instagram and my Facebook group. Um, it's going to be a long term project. I've got, you know, a couple of people have asked for tarot bags. And I need to get organized with that. Somebody did message me way back about them and I didn't know her. And I, I think I've lost touch with who she was. So if you've asked for a tarot bag or if you're interested in one, can you re-message me on Facebook or Instagram so that I can actually um, be a bit more professional <laughs> in my waiting list? I think I just, you know... It, it, they take a while to make and it depends on what deck you want it for and I was doing them between doing other things now I'm doing them you know as my main my main job so it'd be different so I have more time it's weird I don't it's weird to think that I've got time to do these I know my husband would rather I went back out to work I don't want to go to work I don't want to go back into the real world I quite like it in here on my own um, with my trees. <laughs> so, yeah, so I, the idea is I'm going to structure my days. I, oops, I want to incorporate studying my herbs, trees and plants. I've my garden to, my vegetable garden to um, organise and it's a quite a big garden it, it does it's got overgrown and it needs it needs more work than i've had time to do so i need to make sure that i do that um i've got to do a waffle it's not a waffling and witching live in january and i've decided seriously i can't does that that I'm going to do this one as a solo. I'm going to, oops, I think my daughter might join me, but basically I'm going to be uh, just going, I think it would be nice to have a light laugh and a chat and 
I can answer questions if you've got any. I know people have been asking me about my grimoires and I will do a video on that, but I, I don't think I can do that as a live. That's something I'm going to have to work on. Part of my um, schedule <laughs> is I need to sort my grimoire out because it kind of it kind of didn't work quite as well as I wanted it to. I mean, it worked as well as I wanted it to, but it, it, it um, it's not as practical as I needed it to be. Um, but then I have several, so I did say that I will do a video on um, my Book of Shadows, Grimoires, etc., which I will do. I'm hoping to do lots of witchy um, small videos of just little things just just sharing my day really i suppose you could call it a bit of a vlog and putting it all together and going this is my very exciting which you <laughs> doing the dusting no um the book is lovely too and it comes with color images which is is great and then you get hold on, a little bit of the back for notes um yeah there's little areas pockets for notes and stuff on it and yeah it, it's really pretty and it was such a, a surprise to get that deck so i'm i am grateful but then she went in and, and and was even more generous and for new year she sent uh keith and i this little book and it's called the lost spells embossed sort of oh, thing going on the images I, I will share that it uh, oh, Robert McFarlane and Jackie Morris from the creators of the lost words the lost spells and uh, this is a book of spells to be spoken aloud here you will find conjurings and charms spells that protect and spells that protest tongue twisters blessings lullabies and psalms I started looking at it yesterday. I want to, who is the artwork by? Is it? Maybe it is. I don't know if it's who did what. Did who did what? Oh look, you've even got a little hoop coordination. This book belongs to. I just wanted to find out who the artwork was by. Oh, uh, there, yeah. Jackie Morris is illustrator of 40 children's books, including The Song of the Golden Hair and Tell Me a Dragon. Oh, I'd like to get those. Um, Robert McFarlane is the author of books about nature, place and people, including Underland, The Old Ways, Landmarks and the Wild Places. I might have to look into him. Um, the artwork in here is really something um i won't i don't want to spoil i want people to to, to invest in it but look i just i was blown away by the art um it just appealed to me on every level Um, I haven't looked through everything yet. I've still got to to read them. But I just utterly fell in love with it. And she knew that I would. <laughs> to, you know, to, to be gifted anything is, in my opinion, quite special. But um, to have so much generosity in the community... I'm I'm just blown away by it, and the friendships are, are, are really special too. Um, people that I, you know, I've never met, but people have been extraordinarily generous. So, thank you to everyone who has watched my videos or joined our Facebook group. Um, 
or just connected in some way because I know it makes a difference. I think it make, it's made a difference to me because I've met some lovely people, but it's made a difference to other people as well, That which is that the reason that I created the Facebook group in the first place was because there were witches who didn't feel they had anywhere to connect. And that was a really, um, there was a bit of, I mean, there are loads of witchy Facebook groups, but I, you know, they all maybe give something different. I'm not sure. We're not a coven. We're just somewhere where people can connect and share, and I and I think it's a nice community. Um, it's a private group, but you you know people are welcome to come and join, and meet other witches, and share your practice, which is um, the whole purpose of 2021 for me is to make every second of this year count. I want to really get into my studies. Um, I like getting out in the woods and so to really embrace my witchcraft i am i am hugely proud of it i'm absolutely proud to be uh part of that group my 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 youngest said to me well you're not a real witch what's a real witch um somebody who can what conjure up a box of tricks i don't know but to me my magic will always be in the woods in the in the earth um in that connection that i make with the trees and that's been the biggest gift that i was given over 2020 was when i did connect with a an ancient apple orchard and elder mother and from there the connection to the trees in my it's not my wood but i'm going to call it my wood in my where i where i am and they open up and show their faces to me is my it's my path it's my craft can i make myself rich not in that way that's not what magic is to me um and the more I am around witches, the more I know that that's not how they envisage their craft either. One of the reasons why I started talking about the witchcraft on YouTube is because I do believe passionately that the more witches that, that stand up and are able to come out of the broom closet and become and speak their truth and show their craft the better for this planet and i i feel very much that that is something that i wish to continue to do to to bridge that gap for others much more experienced than i am um to feel comfortable that they can really be proud of what they are and what they do because we have a duty of care to this planet that is woefully neglected and there are far more witches than than i think people realize and sadly the term witch is is clearly um used derogatory in so many ways when it shouldn't be so i'm determined that my 2021 mission will be to turn that round. that you know which being a witch or witchcraft is something that i feel is a very positive uh strong uh path that, that that requires celebrating and i'm exceptionally proud to know some really awesome witches and i want to thank them and all of you who have been there on the facebook group sharing posting talking connecting befriending uh giving generously um because that's what i love and one of the the best things for me this year was that i was able to do a three-way swap i made a crane bag for mags and mags gave one of her decks to my friend um t from cosmic creepers and t did a lovely tarot reading for me and 
it was really nice to share that energy between three witches. It was a powerful connection and I loved it. And I'm hoping that moving forward, we're still going to, I'm still going to do the, the co-hosting. I'm hoping to get lots of you on. There's, you know, there's quite a few people who said they want to do it and that's fine. But the next one in January, and I, I haven't pinned a date down just yet, but it will just be me because I think we need to have a bit of a laugh and a bit of a giggle and, um, just catch up on on things in a a nice easy relaxed atmosphere so i will get back to you on the date for that i will be doing lots of little witchy videos of my garden or if i'm baking or if i'm doing something crazy which like just laying in the woods um yeah i'm just gonna have fun with it and let it lead me where it wants to go so Thank you to everyone who's stuck with me and it's been a crazy year but I did reach my thousand mark and I was very grateful to that. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, I'm still here and hopefully we will have a good year but if we need that extra connection, I'm hoping that people will find the Facebook group somewhere they can go and um, it's nice that the witches that I know are reaching out to everyone and, and showing lots of love. So have a good one, guys. And thanks again for your kindness, your generosity, and most of all, your friendship. Take care. Bye.